Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at a very special book. This book is extremely rare. It was written by Yas Bugrov and S. M. Nikolsky. Higher Mathematics. It's got the dust jacket. A collection of problems, Mere Publishers Moscow. So this book was published by Mere Publishers. Uh, they were, I don't know if they still are, a publishing company that would take books that were written in Russian and translate them to various languages. And the books were used all over the world, uh, especially in a lot of Latin American countries. So Spanish was one of those languages. The books were very rare and very hard to get. So I don't know if this book is available, if you can find it. Um, I don't know if there's any copies for sale. I don't know. If I can find a copy uh, or any copies, I will leave a link in the description to this video. Um, I know these aren't cheap. I probably paid quite a bit of money for this book. This is really where I splurge on expensive, rare math books like this. This is the best stuff here. So let's, let's open it up. I'm excited just to take a look at this book with you. About the book, let's, look, let's see what it says here. This collection of about 1,200 problems has been compiled for the following three textbooks by the same authors. Fundamentals of Linear Algebra and Analytical Geometry, Differential and Integral Calculus, Differential Equations, Multiple Integrals, Series, Theory, Functions of a Complex Variable. Thus completing a course in higher mathematics for engineering students and forming a four-book series entitled Higher Mathematics. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump into the contents. Wow, so some stuff there in Russian that I do not read Russian. Translated from the Russian by Leonid Levant, withdrawn. This is an ex-library book. It says Guy Library, Texas A&M University, Commerce. I think it's in Commerce, Texas. First published in 1984, revised from the 1982 Russian edition. Let me just take the dust jacket off just to see. That's what it looks like without the dust jacket there. It's a red book. Just to see what it looks like without the dust jacket. Um, typically, if you can find any copies, uh, the ones with a dust jacket are worth more. Starts with introduction to analysis. Okay, and then integrals. Fundamentals of linear algebra, analytical geometry. Let's turn the page here. Be very careful with this book. I don't want to damage it. The pages seem very frail. Functions of several variables, series, differential equations, multiple integrals, vector analysis, Fourier series and Fourier integral. Then chapter 10 is equations of mathematical physics, oh, cauchy riemann equations, harmonic functions. These are things you might see in a complex variables course. And then we have some more topics here, operational calculus, and then answers. There's a little string here. That's cool. All right, a little string. And then here's, here's the first set of exercises. I'm sorry, I just have to give it a whiff. You have to smell this. Ah, it smells really old. This one, this one actually doesn't, act, doesn't necessarily have a good smell. I lost my focus there on the camera. There we go. It's kind of a musty smell on this one. Using the method of mathematical induction, prove the following relationships. So these are uh, things that uh, you might prove uh, in a basic uh, course on proof writing. This one here, uh, you probably would see later, uh, maybe in an analysis course. Same with these here. These last two are a little bit harder. It tells you where to study. To solve the below problems, it is necessary to study chapter one from one. So this other book here. Differential and integral calculus. Now, these books are also very rare, right? So that's the thing. It's really hard to get these books. Let the set A consist of the youths of a given group and the set B of the girls of the same group. And then find A union B, A intersection B, A set minus B. Also consider the case when A or B is an empty set. Interesting. Just some set stuff. Some inequalities, some of these are pretty easy, right? Nothing too hard, so, I mean, they're not crazy. And then we have some other inequalities here. Then sequences, pretty easy proof. So it's doable, right? It's not like insane problems or anything. Um, it's just a problem book. It's just a problem book on analysis. Let's jump to the back of the book so we can see what some of these answers look like. 
that's crazy. Look at, look at all those problems, 388. Insane. And it's not just answers, it's like, it's like really, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty thorough here. Relatively thorough. So, looks like we don't have all the answers, which is a very unfortunate. For example, the authors did not give the proofs, which is a little bit unfortunate there. So you don't see the proofs by induction, so you only see some answers. It starts with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They don't, they don't do 15, 16, 17, 18, so they're skipping around. It's not giving you all the answers, which is a bit disappointing. At least they do give us uh, graphs. But, yeah, I guess it is better than nothing. It is better than nothing here. It looks like they're starting to go through and give us more proofs and stuff on some of these other sections, but here's a hint. So you don't get answers to every single problem, which is very unfortunate, but you do get a lot. And I think that uh, problem books like this are very rare, especially older ones. There's not a lot of them. There's a series, it's called um, Algebra Through Practice. Uh, these are not Russian books, Algebra Through Practice. Uh, and those are also pretty rare. And those are all with al algebra. And that's another example of an older uh, problem book. Yeah, there's not, there's not that many problem books printed. So, yeah, wow. Interesting, huh? Very cool. Vectors. So it's just a book filled with problems and solutions to some of the problems, not all of them. Written by Bugrov and Nikolsky. And I think the translator, who was the translator? Let's see. Yeah, Leonid Levant. Beautiful. What's it say back here? Oh, here it talks about these, these professors. Bugrov is the uh, author of many scientific papers and monographs of mathematical analysis. And Nikolsky is a state prize winner, author of more than 130 scientific papers, wow, and several monographs. Yeah, so he's made some serious contributions. For his monograph, Approximation of Functions of Several Variables and Embedding Theorems, he was awarded the Shebyshev Prize of the USSR Academy of Sciences. Oh, Shebyshev. Shebyshev uh, was a mathematician. Uh, Shebyshev's theorem is something that you study uh, in uh, probability or in statistics. It's pretty cool. Shebyshev had a lot of brothers and sisters. Pretty random. Yep. Shebyshev. It's a fun name to say. Anyways, I just thought I would show you this book from my collection. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you feel like you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. I'll try to find this book. I, don't, I honestly don't think I'll be able to, but if I find it, if I find any copies, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, I do have courses uh, that I have. Uh, they're on the Udemy platform, but uh, if you decide to buy any of my courses, you can find them on my website, mathsorcerer.com, and it's better if you go through my website for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly if you use the links through my website, and two, uh, also, I've lowered the prices to make them low. I lowered them to be as low as possible, so if you use those links, you should get the lowest possible price. But yeah. Oh, and I do have another YouTube channel. It's on fitness. It is The Fitness Sorcerer, where I just talk about fitness and other random stuff. But yeah, just a cool book. I wanted to show it to you. It's uh, a rare book published by Mere Publishers Moscow. All the books by Mere Publishers Moscow are very rare, very hard to get, and very expensive. When I say very expensive, I mean like more than $20, right? Some of them, some of them are in the hundreds. I don't have that many uh, that are that expensive. Uh, but I think I paid like probably 30 or more dollars for most of the ones I own because they're, they're pretty hard to get. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.